Speaking of the arts, Alaskan painter John Van Zyl has been creating the annual Iditarod posters for almost a half century. The Iditarod often comes up when Van Zyl's name is mentioned, but the Iditarod is only a small portion of his creative work. And Eric So tells us about a brand new Van Zyl project that is set up to help artists who make Alaska home. I got a good painting. Alaskan painter John Van Zyl often gets called an Iditarod artist. You gotta paint what people like. It's an easy assumption. Since 1979, he has been the official artist of the Iditarod. He's run the race twice in 1976 and 79. He's painted a new race poster every year since 1977. This one is the 48th. And he's a member of the Anchorage Daily News' Iditarod Hall of Fame. But he wants to make something clear. The Iditarod isn't his only muse. He paints from his life. Painting what I do and what I know and what I've done. Uh, you know, be that fishing, hunting, uh, dogs, uh, you know, you name it. Alaska's people, its places, its wildlife. And at 81 and a half, he still paints every day. I mean, if you really, really, really love what you do, why stop, you know? He's been an artist most of his life. Going on 60 years. And has lost count of how many paintings he's created in that time. I have to paint between 60, 50, 60, 70 a year. And some of that is books or, you know, commissions or galleries. But he and his wife, Jana, know one thing. They like to give back. This year we're doing a somewhat of a sponsorship with uh, Laura Eichlin. To help. We sponsor. Uh, the kids on the juniors. And now they've found a way to help the next generation of artists. The Van Zyl Endowment for the Arts. A resource where artists can apply for assistance. We decided that we wanted to support, not necessarily young artists, but artists who are uh, hell-bent in making that their career. Hoping to help new artists get established possibly providing the muse for someone who will carry on the legacy of art in Alaska, maybe even becoming the next Van Zyl. Eric Soule, Alaska's News Source.